obviously digital tools have been an absolute lifeline for everyone in the lockdown haven't they whether it's families or communities but particularly for small businesses you know we know for example that um, three million restaurants and small retailers used our tools to help to connect with consumers let them know for example we're still open or we're doing curbside delivery and as you say those that use digital the most um, saw their sales 80 percent better than the rest and they actually hired three times as many people over the pandemic so really important lifeline for business but there's obviously more of this to come we're concerned to try to enable businesses to recover as fast as possible and that means they need digital skills they need digital tools and they need the opportunity to get back to work fast so that's some i think some helpful findings to understand just how um, important digital tools now are to everyday businesses across the continent Matt, uh, I made it to page 18 of the report and I was looking at uh, the fall in revenue for SMEs based on the size and you broke it down to, to micro below 10 people, uh, 10 to, to about 100 on the small sized uh, business and then medium becomes up to 100 to 250 people. But you can see the size of the revenue much deeper, the smaller the business. How do businesses that are small with very little way of cash that have already had to be extremely dynamic at this point and may not have many workers to help out reach into their pockets uh, when there's no cash? in the reserve and fund digital expansion at this point yeah i mean you're absolutely right it's uh, just like the health impact of the pandemic the business impact is falling disproportionately on, on some groups we've noticed smaller businesses businesses with sole founders actually some of the women funded businesses the pandemic's fallen harder on women as you know than, than than on men so these are real challenges i think one of the opportunities of digital is that you don't have to be big to compete right everyone with a smartphone and an idea can be an entrepreneur today and one of the things we've learned pre-pandemic, we actually launched a digital skills training program across EMEA. And we've trained over, since 2015, 17 million people in digital, digital skills. Over 4 million of those have gone on to start businesses or get better jobs. So we, we know what we're doing here. And it's always been in partnership with others, German trade unions or retail associations trying to reach out and find people who we can most help. So uh, the, the tools are trying to be built as simply as possible so they do work for the smallest businesses. But it's also true we're going to need to reskill, reskill. And of the businesses we surveyed, it's great you've read the report so thoroughly, 60% um, believe they will fully recover, but that's an awful lot who um, don't see a route to, through to full recovery. And those are the people we most need to help. And it's not just companies, it's actually communities, and government and civil society organizations that need to come together if we're really to have an inclusive and digitally accelerated economic recovery from all of this.